Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware. This is Steven Taylor, and we are staying socially distanced away. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some, some rental boilers, some steam sizing on the, uh, on the header. Because yep. uh, one of the things that I was thinking about was like, you know, one size does not fit all. No. Um, so I wanted to just talk to you about when, when guys call in from rental, because I think this would be good for folks out there to understand about the sizing of the of the header and how that works. So yep. maybe just walk through first. Let's just let's just tell about a header because some people maybe just need to have that information. Yeah, that it's is. a main steam header. We got to get the steam from the boiler to the plant, and so they they you know run the steam line. This boiler will have an eight inch steam line on it. Um, every job is different. Um, so if uh, if they're running a the boiler at three hundred psi, they may come off that eight inch header, drop to a six less money to run a six inch line, run it 40 feet into the plant and, and they're good to go. If they're running the boiler at 125 pounds, they got 200 feet of pipe, they may come off eight, go to 12, run all the way to the plant. So every job is different and you really have to take in everything, operating pressure, uh, distance, uh, how the pipe is configured. It's it just, everything has to be taken into to account on every job. So what is the reason to actually increase the size of the line? What's going it's, on? It's strictly velocity. It, it, when you, the lower the pressure, um, the lower the velocity. So you have to increase that line size to keep the pressure drop to a minimum. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you run this thing at, at 300 PSI, then you know, a, a, a three or four pound pressure drop is not a big deal. If you're running at 100 PSI, three or four pounds may be the difference between the plant operating and it not operating. So you really have to take all that pressure drop through that pipeline into consideration. It's a big deal. Now you've, you've talked a, a term, so let's talk about it, pressure drop. Yeah. What does that term actually mean? That, that means the, the, the drop in operating pressure from the outlet of the, the, the steam valve on the boiler to the inlet to the plant. Okay. That's the pressure drop through that line and that's, that, those are all calculations that we take into, into account when we're sizing that piping of, okay, here's my, here's my velocity, here's my steam pressure, here's my capacity, here's the, here's the line size, the lengths of it, the number of 90s, valves, everything has to be taken into account so we can size that line properly. Otherwise, we'll get a 75, 82 five like this one to a plant, you'll stop start operating and before you can ever get the boiler up to capacity, they can't get steam to the plant. He's running, trying to run 82,000 out of this unit mm -hmm. and he's at 300 PSI. They've got 260 at the plant right. and can't get the flow through there. So, so, we, so somebody has sized the line improperly, so we got to start all over. We don't want to do that on, on a rental job. And sometimes when they actually ask for um, uh, the, the distance between the unit and where they need to go, it might be 80 feet, but the actual piping might be longer. Yeah, and, and because like a 90 will take, will, will, when you do the calculations, that's six feet of pipe. A T is 23 feet of pipe, a, bo a, a bullhead T, a valve, you know, a, a glow valve is another mm -hmm. 20 feet. Mm -hmm. So all of those have to be added to get your total linear feet of pipe calculation in order to size the pressure drop through all that piping. The other thing they have to take into account, if it's a short run, expansion is not an issue. But if it's a 200 foot run of pipe, you can't run 200 feet straight run of pipe. Right. That thing is going to grow about four and a half or five inches mm. and, and that pipe won't take that. So you have to run and then put an offset in it, mm -hmm. expansion and contraction, mm -hmm. let that, and that's just like, a, like an accordion, it's yeah. going to move. Right. So to, to, to let that thing expand or you're going to tear something up and blow a line out. Which is awesome. I mean, to think about steel and it's actually having to grow. Uh, it's, it's incredible. To, it it to is incredible. It's incredible for the technicians to watch this boiler. When they heat it up, mm -hmm. it will grow vertically about three quarters of an inch right. when they heat this boiler up. So that, that's something that, and that's the design of the boiler. It's designed to do that. The O-type is perfect for that. The, the, the casing is all, you know, it slides. It, it's right. all designed for that, but it's, it's really different for the technicians to see when they're starting that boiler up, that thing starts to rise. Again, they have to take that into account for anything they attach to it. Mm -hmm. Anything attached to the top of that boiler, you gotta take into account. It's gonna come up three quarters of an inch. You better be, be prepared for it. Cool. Well, if you see anything like this that's out there when you're sizing a, uh, an actual steam header, 
um, you want to make sure you're taking all this stuff into account or call the guys that know what's going on. Yep. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Stephen hanging out with us. I always look forward to talking with him. It's been a while since we've actually had him on The Boiling Point. Hope you guys are doing well out there in COVID land and still handling all this pandemic stuff. And again, we appreciate all that you guys are doing, all you boiler guys and gals that are keeping everything running. Uh, we certainly appreciate that. Now, some of the stuff that Stephen talked about, there's a great opportunity to be able to uh, learn um, some Boiler 101, if you will. And I'd like for you to just stay tuned because we're going to start having some online classes that you're going to be able to get to on Ware's website as the Boiler University transitions into some virtual learning um, uh, that we're going to be putting together. So uh, be watching for that. Hopefully within a couple weeks we'll be ready to go. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter if you don't mind. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and as always, like our videos. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.